Well, hello, sassy friends. How's everybody doing today? Here we go. Nails are prepped and ready to go. And we're doing one called It's the Pits. So we're on fruit salad number two. And this is using the set Cherry Picked. I think this was maybe one of the more popular ones of the fruit stuff. Um, I wish it was like either a glitter. No, I just wish it was a glitter. I was going to say or a shimmer, but I feel like it needs more than a shimmer even. I kind of think that's part of the problem with all of them. So we've got Cherry Picked Road to Recovery. This was um, the, I, I believe, drug and alcohol, like anything, um, substance abuse foundation one. Uh, and Midnight in Manhattan. So nothing, you know, nothing real crazy. Hi, I'm Stacy. Welcome to the Sassy Styles. I do my nails about three times a week. I am not a stylist. I'm just an addict. And I say that for a few reasons. One being um, because I will get messages and people are asking me like, Where's your link to your stuff that you sell? Well, I don't sell anything. <laughs> the only link I have is posted down below, and that is to our Facebook group, which is just an extension of my YouTube so that people can share their pictures and questions and inspiration and, you know, ideas. And then we do live nails there at least once a month which is super fun where I will do a set that hopefully shows some kind of you know artsy nail or skill that people have been wanting to see and hopefully you guys I made sure that my camera was up high enough that it didn't pick up my top at all because it picked up my pajamas in the last one and made it go made it go blurry for you guys ticked me off um the thing is like the further my camera is out <laughs> the less it picks up back here but also it's the further away that i'm doing my nails from my body so you know and that's fine right oh i love this i knew i was gonna love this Road to Recovery nail friend Karen says, I think it looks like road rash. <laughs> Ooh, that went on so, so good. Let's get it to focus for you guys. Super pretty that one is. And that's all I'm doing on this one is, on this finger is just, just this. Road to Recovery. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking your time to watch my nonsense. If you have not subscribed yet, please do that. It helps YouTube's silly algorithm find us other nail lovers. Well, I had kept out two of these because I thought I might need it. But I don't think I will. I wonder what it would look like doubled. Hang on. Hold the presses. I'm flip so I left the plastic on and I'm flipping it over. Oh my gosh. It might be too much. And also it might be amazing. Well, I mean, we won't know until we try it, you guys. There we go. So let me show you. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this if it focuses for us. There, oh. Come on, little bugger. There you go. I have it pulled up just a hair from where the original one is, and here's why. Because then it gives less chance for it to catch my hair. 
or anything else. I mean, it can, you know, obviously it can catch on more than just your hair. But that's my most, my usual complaint is that it catches in my hair. So if you move it just, just a hair, it doesn't have to be a ton. Just a bit up, it won't, won't have that ledge that catches on stuff like you do when they're perfectly stacked. That's pretty, doubled is pretty. Hang on a sec. I think I got a little bit I got to trim here. Marcia and I watched the last two episodes of This Is Us. We were exactly two behind. Yeah, that's pretty. I can't wait to use that one at Christmas time. Okay, let's put that there and then let's do this. Um, so yeah, now we're all caught up loving it. It's nice to have things finally wrap up. Also, at the same time, let me know. If you watch This Is Us and if you're having this same feeling that I'm having, I feel a little bit like, at this point, like we're watching something we've already watched. You know? Because they did all these lead-ins um... We know how it ends. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels a little rehashed. And, like, I wonder how differently I would have thought of it, as of the series as a whole, had they, um, you know, just played it out. Like, I don't mind... Let's say, instead of starting how it did on their 30th birthdays, I mean, and I don't feel like I'm giving out a spoiler there, because it's literally the first episode. <laughs> like, at this point, if you haven't watched the first episode, you know enough spoilers that that's not going to hurt. But, like, instead of starting on their 30th birthdays, what if they started, you know, with Jack and Rebecca meeting? And, and you know, skipped a few years here and there, that kind of thing, but, like... I don't know, just with all the playing back and forth type of thing, I just feel like now we're we're coming to an end that I already have been watching for five years or what have you. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm still enjoying it. That is not to say I'm not enjoying it. It just gets me a little frustrated sometimes. But... Once we get done with it, which I believe is sometime this month, right? I can't remember for sure. Anyway, once we're done with it, then what? I mean, I don't watch any other TV shows. I don't really watch TV, so... I guess we've got Bridgerton. We do have to get caught up on Bridgerton, you guys. Well, we have to start the second season. Because we haven't done that yet. And I also am watching The Great. And I know that the next season of that doesn't come out until January. So I just have a couple episodes left of it. And I've been putting it off. Because I know that, you know, the next stuff isn't coming for quite a bit. So... I guess I could finish that up. I don't know. I don't plan to have enough time to be sitting around watching TV this summer anyway. I rather would just throw on an audiobook, which is basically like, you know, a movie in my head, you guys. I mean, can you imagine living there anyway in my head? <laughs> I gotta squish that out. Okay. For some reason, I feel like I never get my pointer to lay how I want it to lay. I don't know why. There. Oh, that Midnight Manhattan, you guys. It's just so stunning. I was so mad when I wore it the other day and it, the tips were just crap by the end of day one. 
like it hadn't even been 24 hours my tips were just beat to crap one layer of it does not hold up for me I don't know about anybody else but one layer is not enough and I am actually I'm glad that I layered this now that I think about it because when I was planning this mani I was planning um more than one layer because I know that I've been I'm working in the kitchen right now scrub 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 a dub dub okay I don't think I need that one now let's do this one and you guys you know this came with whites right but I don't need them don't want them didn't need them took them out ages ago I don't even remember when I took them out but I took them Mm. These whites feel like they went, yeah, they kind of went to crap. Okay, just a second. Let me see if I can. See that? How it's like crispy. All right. That was a resale, resale, <laughs> resealed resealed set but at the same time those whites never want to hold up so let's try with a fresh set yeah okay well then I can use two of those because that's kind of what I wanted to do now what's for my middle check 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 double check and then cherry Checks on thumbs. And look, I had sealed up this little individual cherry thumb. And I don't trust that it's going to be good. So now I'll just switch my whole plan around. Turning on my melter while I'm at it. Might as well put these whites in because I can use them at some point when I need Swiss Intel. And you basically you want Swiss Intel anytime you want something. Like if I wanted these Road to Recovery to look like what they looked like in the package, then I would have had to put white under them. But I wanted them to be sheer, you guys. Okay, there. Let's try that again. And I have a little piece of cherry left on here. Okay, and normally... I wouldn't bother fixing this, but because I know that I'm, like, scrubbing in my kitchen and stuff, I do want it to have the, the strength. Let's see how neatly I can do this. Because that's not a pinky strip. Dathan got the kitchen completely done painted now and there was just one wall in the hallway he had left to do it was one that he had to finish removing some wallpaper on he's got that all done and got it painted today and then he put um new outlets in and new light switches and stuff so they're all nice and matchy all right, good. There we go. That's that. Now, back to our plan. When I, Willow and I pulled the stove all apart and scrubbed that and did the microwave, 
I found this place. Well, okay. This place found me. <laughs> because um, they found me on Facebook and ad. Anyway, you can put in the make of your stove. Make slash model of your stove. And they will send you... Well, they're not sending it for free, girls. You gotta buy it. Um, like a stove top, you know, protector liner thing that fits yours. And like mine has that middle burner, the fifth burner, whatever. Um, so it comes all cut exactly for your make and model. What? Love it. Okay, where's the next cherry one gonna go? Not there. It's supposed to be on the pointer. So I might as well use these ends because I've got them. Yep. And they're nice and small. So I'm going to be putting all my spare bits together on this fruit salad. I didn't have any spare main squeeze, but I will have most of the rest of it. And then on the last one, I'll figure out something. A little code word you can use to get yourself entered into win them. So this one will have cherries for sure. We've gotten so much rain in the past few days. And Willow and I were going to do a bunch of garden yard stuff, but it's really pretty mucky right now. So we're contently doing indoor stuff. And the kitchen's good now until the backsplash comes, but that won't be. That at least isn't something where he's going to be like, Drilling the dang sheetrock all over. Almost did that totally wrong, you guys. There. These ones are, like, super nice and fresh. guys, I know I complain about this little perforation thing probably every time, but I hate it. I know there's no fix for it, really. I just hate it. I mean, why couldn't it be a clean cut? Why do we gotta even have that part? I don't know. But now look how dumb that is. Dang it. Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna have to doctor that spot with some tweezer action. That might need a clip to make it work for me. No? Okay. I won't use the tweezers. First I'll use this little guy. There, 
it kind of scrunched it up there better than it was anyway this something about this doesn't look right give me a sec here I got it in my whole face Now, check, check, what the check? Wait. There. Tomorrow, Willow and I are going to. Tomorrow's Saturday, by the way. For me, because I'm pre recording this. By the way, did I say that? I'm trying to get one set ahead so that things will be loaded in HD for you guys. We'll see how it works. I mean, part of what I like where I load them as I do them is that we can chat about current things it's gonna be a little harder to do that now but we'll see how it goes we'll see if we like it and if I can make sure I stay on top of it there um we're gonna run into Old Navy so she can pick up a few random summary bits and then we've got to pick up a little grocery order at Walmart. Yeah, I really like that. I don't know why this side's fighting me. But it just is. Okay, now. Let's get our thumbs rocked. Well, I better trim it first. And for those of you that are new here, I trim it because I have really square nail beds. And I don't like when there's little empty rounded places where it didn't meet up. So if I just trim it a bit, it widens it enough to fill my square nail bed. just can't you can't beat this like beautifully shiny black can't beat it just can't beat it covered up but I'm excited to do what I'm gonna do on this thumb so I won't be too I won't hate it too much hang on a sec I got a little cuticle pushing that needed to happen there My nails are officially, my thumbnails are officially too long to use two strips on one. Uh, when I'm doing a negative space, it'll work out still. Or if I'm doing something where I'm putting 
something over the tip area, it'll be okay. But if I want a nice full nail, then I need to use two. Hang on, I have a teeny bit over my nail fold here, and I want to make sure I get it. I don't want to let it dry down, because then it'll cause me to want to fight with it. And one of us will win, and one of us will lose, and I hate that scenario, you guys. Alright, here we go. This one. Check, check. And we should be able to use this on two fingers, both fingers, maybe. And if you're not a fan of the side peep, you guys, you can do the little bottom peep. Or you could just do these without having any kind of little accent action going on. I think most people probably could settle in on one of the peeps. <laughs> you don't have to like both peeps, uh, but you could do like the reverse French look. Or this little side peep that I like. I'm not a super fan of the reverse French look. That's why I always go with this one. But I am a super fan of this, you guys. Let me... Yeah, it's still hot, so let's slide these in there. So that somebody could use them. This is such a little picnic blankety kind of look for me. Melty. My flat iron's still on. Alright, now. I'm going to see if I can remember to nip that dumb perforation from now on. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. There we go. All right, now to make these really fab. I mean, they're pretty fab as is. Super cute, super summery. But I took out some of my little fruity bits. And these are the cherries. And some greens from these ones, you guys. I just cut out what I wanted. Or what I thought I wanted. You know, let's be real. By the time I start doing it, it could all change. Alright, so. This one's bigger. These, And then medium, smaller, and a little green leaf. And so here is what I was thinking thinking one day I'm gonna stab that stupid tweezer into my thumb oh and then I'll say all all kinds of words you guys all the fancy words <laughs> 
Oh, you're a cute little cherry. And these are definitely a 3D decal, you guys. It might not need more than that. Okay, let's maybe... Uh, here we go again. With these stupid fruit decals making me mad and not settling in on a idea. Okay. Taking the bigger one out of the scenario. Because he's too big for my finger. Come on, little baby. There we go. Yep, better, better. See, sometimes you just gotta let yourself change your mind. And this is just a little um, green leaf. Oh, okay, look. Let's get it to focus. Maybe. Why is this so crappy at focusing lately? There we go. Okay, now we don't need this bigger one. It's too big. So, here we go. These are so sticky. Okay, how did I do that? Like this. There's that. Oh, you guys, I had a sneeze sneak up on me, and I kind of feel like there might be another one coming. I don't know if I'll be able to pause in time if I'm putting this leaf on, so bear with me. Okay, and then the leaf. Oh, that is really cute really cute when it focuses come on why are you being such a crap show there we go really cute yep I like these a lot that's a double road to recovery you guys so there we go cherries a go-go I'll let these cure up overnight um Probably a Northern Lights. I mean, let's be real. It's pretty much what I use. I definitely need to put something on the on for the decals, though. Anytime you use decals or nail tape, it has to be something on there. So there we go, you guys. We've officially been cherry-picked. Have a great night. Well, come on, focus, buddy. There we go. Have a great night. I'll see you in a couple days.